Phil, you had a big run early in the game. Tell us about like kind of what you saw and how that play developed. Um, really, it was third and one, and I just saw a little crease and um, ended up being a cutback in that lane, and I just saw green grass, so I just ran. But the offensive line blocked it up really good, so they gave me the opportunity to make a play. The offense tonight, you guys came out on fire. Was that kind of like the mode all week, just kind of just jump out there and get off to the start you guys did? Oh, yeah, for sure. We know, like, we put in the work in practice. We know what we can do in practice, so we just had to translate that today to the game field, and that was just a big emphasis um, of just showing that, you know, all the work that we put in, you know, we got to go out there and show it. Did you think, um, or you think you surprised some people today with your breakaway speed? I mean, uh, that's something you've never showed before. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I never really had the opportunity, but maybe surprised some people, but I've been working on that. Do you know how fast you hit? No, I don't. 20.6. 20.6? Okay. That's all right. I'm trying to hit 21. But <laughs> that's good. That's all right. From the run game tonight, uh, were the holes just bigger? I mean, like, how did you feel just making your cuts and then and then breaking free, seeing the holes themselves? Um, I think they did a good job, honestly. You know, um, having a lot of guys in the box, the safeties crashing down. But, you know, just on that play in particular, um, they just didn't have any outside contain, and I was able to, you know, if you have a, as a running back, if you're able to get a little bit of room, you know, it could turn into a big play, and that's just what happened. Was it strange to be up by so much with so much still play? Uh, nah, honestly, I felt like the guys were just ready this week to go out there and show what we had, you know. Um, to lose a game like that last week and only get three points on the board, we knew we had more in us. So we just really wanted to prove that to ourselves uh, and especially to the defense. You know, they gave us a lot of help. Um, so we, we just wanted to prove that today. You had um, with the freshmen, you guys have been talking about them spring and the camp, especially Wesco. You talk about the play of those two guys and, and the, the kind of what they showed from, from a big play standpoint. Uh, you just show that the moment wasn't too big for them, you know. When they got their opportunity, they made the most of it. And, you know, those guys, they work hard, they make plays in practice. So, you know, I expect nothing less than to than for them to make that on the game field. Phil, okay, talk about the explosiveness in this offense. It's been a long time since we've seen that many big plays, running game, receiving game, tight end, just so many players making big explosive you know, this team is very explosive, and it all starts with our whole line. You know, they've gotten so much better, having, have gotten so much improvement over this offseason, and they're allowing us to, you know, make those throws, make those runs. You know, it all starts with them, but we got the, we definitely got the keys in this offense. Phil, knowing that you're graduating next year, what does it mean to you personally that some of the younger guys got so much time to play and get more experience? Uh, it was great to see, honestly, you know, just for them to grow their experience just because I know like me as when I was a sophomore freshman getting to go out there and play gave me confidence so I'm glad that they got that experience too. Phil, uh, perhaps Cade, you know, last week was a tale of two halves and it was a tale of two games. Just a great turnaround and just day and night as far as the, from the George game to tonight. And you talk about the O-line, how great they played. Coach Luke definitely had them ready to go these first two games. Didn't really showed in the score last week, but definitely showed out tonight. Mm -hmm. You know, the O-line, I mean, Coach Wayne talked about it. They gave up no sacks last game or this game. You know, they've been doing a great, um, like a unbelievable job, honestly. And you know, we just gotta, we just gotta execute. That's really been the thing. Just execute. You know, momentum's a big thing in this game. So uh, it's all about the details, especially in a game like last week. You know, the details are what matters, especially when Coach Winnie likes to say, when talent meets talent. You know, the details are what matter. Do you feel that uh, next week having a bye week is perfect timing, or do you think kind of stalls yeah. momentum, or how do you guys see the bye week before NC State comes to town in uh, a couple weeks? The bye week's perfect, honestly, just because it allows us to recover anyone that's injured to you know get back right, and it just allows us to have more focus on NC State. We have two weeks of preparation instead of a couple days, so it gets us more locked in on the opponent. Did you have a sense? that this was coming I and mean, we didn't see this last week even even close to, i know george really did this but i mean did you have a sense that this was coming or were you a little surprised that first quarter and that second quarter and just the game 
you know, I expected it, honestly. You know, the, the keys that we have in this offense, there's no reason why, you know, we shouldn't be able to score as many points as we want. We just got to be on the same page and execute. That's really been the name of the game. Just execute whenever you get an opportunity and just stay locked in. Tell me about that run. When you run for that long inside the valley, is it? Uh, that was crazy, honestly. Yeah, I, I was... I just didn't know if someone was behind me, so I had to check up on the screen. Then it turned back because I thought it was going to slow me down, but I was glad I'm, I was able to you know, add to the joy of my team, be able to do something big like that and get the fans hype in the sideline. Phil, obviously, a win is a win. That's the important part. But do you take pride in knowing you guys set the record for yards and points in half? Is there like a pride you taking that as an offense? Oh, yeah, for sure. It just shows that. You know, it's not a fluke. You know, we got the ability to be great, and we just got to go out there and do it. You know, it gives us confidence, for sure. Talking away, you mentioned the energy that started at practice on Monday translating to tonight. Just how important was this week of preparation heading into this uh, game and start like that? Uh, it's very important. Every week is important is something I'd say. And um, if you're too focused on the past week, and the past failures, you know, is going to carry on to the next week. So you just got to flush it and be able to focus on what's ahead. And that's just what we did. You mentioned wiping whatever comes before. How much, how important was Cape Columbus' leadership and just moving on from that Georgia result, getting focused on App State and keeping prepared for this week? It was very important, you know, him being our quarterback. We organically look to him for support and his leadership. And, you know, he plays that role. He's ready to go every single day, never takes a step back, and you know he's a fierce competitor, so we love that in him. So I'm just curious from your perspective as a running back, when you see Kate tossing up bombs like that and completing for a long touchdown, I mean, what's going through your mind when that ball's in the air? I love it, I mean, honestly. Touchdowns, I just, more touchdowns, so. I love it, and it just gives me confidence because I know that we can do we can do it in the run game and the pass game. So our opponents are going to be on their toes naturally. So I just love the versatility of the offense.